Welcome to Ken's Corner. Uh, in this video, what we're going to talk about is uh, cam swaps, sensor swaps, okay? Uh, what we're going to do is swap the rear cam sensor to the front cam sensor, okay? It's not like taking the sensor out of here and putting it up here. That's not how this is going to work, okay? Uh, basically, when you swap the cam, and basically what I'm talking about swap is where the cam pickup is going to be done. Instead of having the pickup back here for the computer, the pickup's going to be actually done here on the front of the uh, on the front of the cover. Okay, and there's many reasons why you want to do this and stuff. Some people think it's more accurate uh, going from the front than the rear. I'm not sure. The biggest reason why I'm doing it is because I run an MSD box 6014. I've been having issues running the rear cam sensor in the back. So some people say swap it to the front okay there's a reason why it's being done that way i'm not sure the later model engines are done like that so i'm going to see if this cure, at least cures my problem or not but in order to make this swap happen there's a couple pieces of parts that we're going to have to do one of the parts that we're going to have to do we're going to have to swap out the timing cover okay that's one the other is the cam sprocket and that's number two and there's a third part that we're going to have to get is the cam sensor okay so so basically, I'm going to have to get three parts put on here to do this. But in order for all that to happen, I'm going to have to remove this timing cover. Okay? Let's go ahead and get that started. I went ahead and removed all the timing cover bolts except this one here. Okay? So, so once we've got the cover off, what you're going to see is the cam sprocket there. Okay? And we're going to have to take the sprocket off. Okay? So, in order to get the sprocket off, what we have to do is remove these three 10 millimeter bolts. No biggie. So, once we get that removed, we're going to replace it with a new cam sprocket. Okay? And the new cam sprocket is going to look like this. You'll see this kind of half moon shaped little raised area. Uh, that's where the uh, cam sensor picks up this little raised area. Okay? And the, this is actually a coils uh, part. Uh, I don't see the part number, but I'll leave it down here in my description stuff what part number you need to replace it with, okay? So, let's go ahead and get that removed. So, once you get that removed, all you're going to have to do next is install the new one, okay? In order to install the new one, we have to make sure, you have to make sure um, that the, uh, excuse me, my glass is on here. Uh, there's a little uh, dot down here toward the bottom. You have to make sure you line up with the dot on the crank. All we got the motor turned over where the dot's lined up. All we have to do is get the timing chain on here and get this thing installed then we're ready to put the timing cover on so let me get all that stuff set up and get this thing ready to get it installed and go from there okay let's go ahead and get this thing installed it's as easy as just getting the oh, get that in here get the timing chain around it and the tricky part is getting everything lined up and make sure that dots all the way at the bottom Okay, I can see I'm way off on that one. And you just kind of move the timing chain. It's going to be off again. I'm not that too much. Yep. Okay, get pretty close there, and push it in there, the dots pointed down, all we have to do next is get the, get a bolt in here, get it started at least, okay, and go ahead and get these other ones in. Okay. What I typically like to do is, uh, once I get it in place here, what I like to do is turn over the motor to make sure the dot the dot is still good and make sure it's everything's lined up, okay? Then, once I got everything, sorry, I don't have the bolt on here, but I turn the motor over, make sure it lines up the dot the dot. It's, let's just assume it's all good to go here. 
The next thing you want to do is install your new timing cover, okay? Now this is the timing cover I chose. This is actually a two-piece timing cover. And I do have another video about a two-piece, whether you want to use a two-piece or a one-piece. Go ahead and click up on here. You know, see uh, the video. I'll give you a good uh, reason why you want to use a one-piece versus a two-piece. But for this demonstration purposes, um, I'm, I have a two-piece here, okay? Now, as you can tell on this two-piece timing cover, it has a provision here in the front. And this is where the cam sensor will actually go into, okay? So once you've got your timing gear in, in place, tighten down, torque, and uh, um, torque the right spec. And usually I use some Loctite, like blue or your red Loctite on here to make sure these things don't back out, okay? So once you got that on, it's just as simple as getting your timing cover in place here, getting it bolted in place, get the new seal on if you need it. Sometimes I have an alignment tool to get this thing all lined up perfectly. Okay, when you're installing the timing cover, uh, I have an alignment tool to help me line the uh, seal in the center of the, uh, the crank. And what you have to do is make sure you loosen all your pan bolts at the bottom. Since this is a new timing cover, it, the dimension might be off from the other timing cover. So all you have to do is back off your timing or your, your bolts on the pan just a little bit to give it a little bit of slack on it, okay? Then all you do is put your uh, timing cover up here in place, take your alignment tool, make sure the O-ring is toward where the, uh, where the, uh, the seal goes, okay? And you just smack it in place, back at home. Now, you can take each one of these bolts, tighten it down. Once you got this thing good and tightened down, then you take your pan bolts and you can tighten things up, okay? And also, a word of advice or caution is when you do this, you might take some uh, RTV uh, gasket maker and some black, I use some black gasket maker. Put stuff here in the corner to make sure everything's good and tight. Then you just tighten all the bolts up from the pan, squishes everything, and it should not leak. So anyway, uh, but if you do not have one of these center tools, it's going to be hard to make sure that your or your seal is perfectly centered on this crank hub. So there's different methods that you can do that. Um, so sometimes you can put the stock balancer back in place, kind of loosely fit in there, get everything lined up, and go with that way. But these little tools here makes it really easy to keep things in alignment properly. So anyway, three pieces that, that you really only need. You just need the, the uh, cam sprocket, the timing cover, and a cam sensor, and you're ready to go. It's that simple. So hopefully you'll enjoy this little quick, quick click video that I made about uh, swapping from a rear cam sensor to a front cam sensor. But hopefully you enjoy it. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.